salvation is a collaborative venture. It cannot be undertaken successfully by those who disengage themselves from the sonship because they are disengaging themselves from me, Jesus says. He's also saying that healing is a collaborative venture, which is another way of talking about it. He's saying healing doesn't come from anyone else. The guidance must, the gu you must accept guidance from within. The guidance must be what you want or it will be meaningless to you. That is why healing is a collaborative venture. I can tell you what to do, but you must collaborate by believing that I know what you should do. Only then will your mind choose to follow me. Without this choice, you could not be healed because you would have decided against healing and this rejection of my decision for you makes healing impossible. So it's a clear call from Jesus to listen, to listen to spirit within and trust. Trust the guidance that you hear. Believing that he knows what you should do. You must collaborate by believing that I know what you should do. That's a good one, because this is a journey of undoing what the ego wants you to do, what your what the personal little self is believing is best. That's a statement of not believing in spirit not believing that spirit knows what you should do. You will not trust the guidance of the Holy Spirit or believe that it is for you unless you hear it in others. It must be for your brother because it is for you. Would God have created a voice for you alone? Could you hear his answer except as he answers all of God's sons? Hear of your brother what you would have me hear of you. For you would not want me to be deceived. I love you for the truth in you as God does. The Holy Spirit's voice is weak in you. That is why you must share it. It must be increased in strength before you can hear it. I hear something in this message. It's powerful. She talks about intention. To have the intention of following the Holy Spirit, of he of finding it within and sharing it. That's how it strengthens in your own mind. It takes honesty, it takes this yeah, self exploration. See where and when you would not follow it. Where and when would you want to follow the ego instead? And make another choice there. So you must share it to strengthen it in yourself. If you, if you say, oh, I never hear the Holy Spirit then you must share the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you must come from the intention of wanting the truth. It's not magically going to just fall down on you somehow. It's coming from your intention. The mind is so powerful that way. It's impossible to hear it in yourself while it is so weak in your mind. It is not weak in itself, but it is limited by your unwillingness to hear it. 
If you make the mistake of looking for the Holy Spirit in yourself alone, your thoughts will frighten you because by adopting the ego's viewpoint, you're undertaking an ego alien journey with ego as guide. So if you make the mistake of looking for the Holy Spirit in yourself alone, your thoughts will frighten you. Many people do that. That's why we have lessons like I am among the ministers of God and I trust my brothers who are one with me. Because many people say they have trust issues and they, you know, they don't want to trust in anyone else but themselves. But that's listening to the ego that because the voice is will feel weak. I think I'm thinking of this because we're watching in uh, Exhibition Heaven. There's a lot of joining in that movie. They're they don't really I would say they don't really know what they're doing, but they are seeking joining. The choir leader is like the fir for the first time in his life, he's leading a little choir and he has never done that. And his intention is joining to, to, for people to feel the love of God in their hearts. It's his intention. So he uses whatever means for joining, lots of expression and parties <laughs> yeah I think it looks it can look in so many ways there is no one way that is the right way because it's about the intention mm -hmm.